support as you were. <laughs> but Nick, you, you, play, you played a lot of merit. Won't win the big games. That's the big ones for you. That's where we're going. So I, I appreciate your comments. I, I understand where you're coming from there. Yeah. But uh, let's, let's talk about the cold reality of the game, yeah. where I thought, you know, we uh, we were very good against Collingwood for certainly the first half. We all saw that. And uh, the third quarter, I thought we actually responded to Collingwood's coming at us, but then we just capitulated in the last. So that's where we've got to keep the heat on ourselves. Um, and uh, the, the more the more close games and tougher games that we play, in, the better for this group. Do you want the first team to suffer that sort of uh, final quarter belting from Collingwood? Is it a matter of um, fatigue, conditioning? You're traditionally a very fit, you know, powerful running team. But a lot of teams have suffered playing them in the last quarter. The final Where? Quarter well, I mean, you've got to be uh, you've got to be really good at uh, the contested part of the game to play Collingwood, and you've got to better sustain it. Uh, I mean, statistically, without, without mentioning all the numbers, guys, statistically in that area of the game, because they, they play, they play a very strong contested game, and that's the way it's probably AFL footy is going that way. So, and we, um, the, the beauty of us tonight or today was that we we're able to show or demonstrate to our supporters that we are, we can, we've got a, a quality and a standard that we can get to, but we cannot sustain it, like uh, the Collingwood, Geelong, probably Hawthorne type teams at the moment. So that's why we push on. Is, it's, is it a fitness thing? It can be, it, it's, it's, a tough, it's a tough way to play. You know, so, yeah, I mean, you can argue it's fatigue. Uh, we've, got, we've got a lot of young guys at the moment in our side, you know, nine, 10 guys in our side who are still less than 20 game players. So their capacity, ment as well as mentally, as well as physically, you know, to, to keep going and uh, to re keep responding is where we will we'll get our improvement from, so. Uh, you know, a good experience, some really good footy, but in the end, uh, it was, was it a seven goal loss? Oh, well, I mean, I, I thought Collingwood was, I, th I thought Collingwood was really strong, you know, in the first half. Um, I mean, only Mick would know whether he thought they were a bit better in the second half. So, I mean, have you interviewed him yet? Mm -hmm. okay. And what do you think? Yeah. I thought they worked hard. Yeah, yeah, so um, so yeah, so I mean they probably worked just as hard in the second half they did in the first, so based on uh, mixed comments. But they just in the end they just overwhelmed us. Obviously from your point of view there's some very good and very bad in the space of you know, a couple of hours. What tact do you take with your players after a game like that? Uh, just to explain exactly that. I mean they gotta understand uh, they gotta understand that they can uh, produce a brand of football that was I thought outstanding. Uh, for a long period of time, but we also got to understand that we've still got a uh, a bit of a soft underbelly, you know, for the a real first of the contest, you know, in a real tough contest. So, you know, uh, some real hope of what we're doing and uh, the group that we're, we're starting to assemble, but, uh, but you know, a big reality check of where you're at. Well, I need to get all the information first. I haven't seen it. Um, Taylor was named as an emergency for this week. Uh, played Friday night. So uh, my understanding, he was at the footy, having a beer. I don't think he was intoxicated. I don't know uh, if he was probably at home having a barbecue with his mate and had a beer. It wouldn't be an issue, would it? Is it a symbolism thing? Yeah, I think it's a perception, isn't it? Symbolism, perception. At the moment, I mean, I, that's based. I haven't got all the facts on it, but uh, I think that's probably the biggest. I would think that's probably the biggest issue. I mean, would you have a problem with a player having a beer a day after a game at a barbecue? No, but it's a slightly different environment sitting in the. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, that hasn't, I mean, in fairness to Taylor, I mean, I, I can't question his attitude at our football club and his, his work ethic and what he's, he's trying to really take on board the things that we're asking him to do. Um, you know, so, uh, no, I think that's probably, I think that's probably unfair assessment of, you know, maybe what people would think, you know, I think, yeah. Oh, 
tidy what I've said in, in the Adelaide press. There's some areas of his game that need to be tidied up. And uh, we, played a, we played a game tonight, or this afternoon, you know, which is a really important part that he will add, he will add to his game. And when he does, he'll be, a, he'll be an outstanding player. And he's, and he's endeavouring to do that. Well, as as with the information that I have at the moment, um, I mean, you've probably answered the question yourselves, have you not? Do you think there's anything wrong with a guy having a this says, a beer at a after a game of footy on the next day? Unless we expect all our AFL players to be teetotalers, which I don't. I expect them to be responsible, but I certainly don't expect them to uh, to be teetotalers. No, no. We've got a lot of players uncontracted. Nathan Van Burlow's still uncontracted. We've got, we've got, we've got a lot of players. So it's, it's always going to be that room you're in, your endo about who is, who isn't. We've been through it with Nathan Bock. I mean, that'll unfold as as, uh, as time goes by. Uh, it puts a huge amount of pressure on players, you know, just from speculation to start with. Still the best policy for me is to be up front with your football club. Um, if they feel capable to do that and feel safe enough to do it, and then that puts everything to bed, otherwise it'll continue. As you think you got over here with some players, with the bit I read. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Okay.